we're talking today about an interesting company, Quantum SI or QSI. A formed in 2013, a proteomics uh, leader, uh, the study of proteins and sequencing, which is used to further science, uh, disease uh, reviews, therapeutic development, biotech innovation. Um, really, you're looking at the proteins and, and how the structures, the functions interact with each other in an organism. So kind of interesting, interesting topic here. Didn't know there was a lot of companies focused on this. Wasn't really on my radar until I was following up uh, on another company that has been on the radar that we've talked about before, which is Skywater Technology. Skywater is just a very small, kind of a niche um, foundry for lots of smallish up and coming companies that need some help in building out their chips, their brains um, to put into their products. So that's how I kind of came across Quantum SI and really glad we I did and that it's quite an interesting market. So here's what we find out. Uh, not only do we educate our little selves, ourselves a bit on proteomics, but we find out that this is quite a big total addressable market as, as well. Um, the market that Quantum SI is looking at is approximately an $8 billion initial marketplace. Wow, that's, that's, a, lot, that's, that's a lot there. And, and the overall total addressable market is 75 billion. They're just focused on one component of this at this point in time. The larger market is even bigger. Okay, now you've got my attention because you've got a very small company that has a lot of room to grow if they can grow it. So what do they do? They design the chips. They have the chemistry. They have the instruments. They have the software to handle all these interactions and to apply this technology. So you have kind of have an end-to-end -end entity here. And then I've found out that they actually collaborate with Skywater Technology to design and build out the chips. Uh, they collaborate with NVIDIA to help su supply and develop the platform Proteus to compute all this great information. And then there's another one called Planet Innovation, which actually helps them build out their devices, which they have in their selling. So interesting background, neat little company. Why don't we dive a little bit more into the particulars and see if it still has an interest for us. Quantum SI, market cap, about $180 million, small. Stock price, give or take $1.28. Uh, performance down 37% year to date and 87% over five years. Okay, so it's in that value category, which we're all looking for, hasn't hit that momentum yet. Why did the stock pop recently? And, but they've put out a lot of, a lot of uh, press releases. Well, they just had a major investment day. Their presentation looks pretty sharp and they've got a lot of irons in the fire and they're moving a lot of things through very quickly. You've got my attention. 196 million in cash as of the end of Q3. That's a lot of cash. Of course, all these companies burn it like crazy, but that's an, at least enough to sustain them for quite a while. Revenue. They actually have revenue. It's a little bit under 4 million anticipated for 2024 year, but that's actually showing some growth. And when you look at the addressable market, who they're dealing with from a customer base, there's tremendous opportunity to expand that, especially when you control the chips, the chemistry, the instrument, the device, the software on how to handle it from an end-to-end -end perspective. It looks like they've got a good part of this market covered. So very exciting uh, when you consider that. What's the future look like? Well, I guess after years of of kind of bumping along on the bottom, uh, Quantum SI seems to have caught some fire. And this could be the time they start to break out as they've now got end-to-end -end products, good development, a customer base, new products on the horizon, great partnerships with world-class or 
growing companies themselves, um, a solid R&D budget, and a lot more on the horizon. Um, it's just one guy's opinion right here, but in my opinion, this is set up for, for a, a nice move higher if all of these items line up for them. So in my opinion, looks pretty strong, looks interesting. I uh, didn't think I was going to come across this. It wasn't really on my radar, but glad that it is now. Like the company, I've got a small position in it. I'll look to grow it, keep analyzing it, and we'll see where it takes us. But I'm excited to be on board. Let me know if you're interested and if there's anything similar to it that you want to talk about. We'll talk soon.